Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Today we'll take a look at a very special book titled Decorativo One, researched and edited by Andrea Branzi, Massimo Morozzi, Clino Trini Castelli and Adela Code Turin and published by Centro Design Montefibre in collaboration with Idea Books in 1976. Pattern design as a figurative and linguistic phenomenon has always been considered by official culture as a byproduct of painting. The term decorative is often synonymous with the vulgarization of graphic and figurative phenomena transformed into repetitive pattern processes and resulting in the total loss of any cultural communication whatsoever. We feel that this negative concept can and must be revised today. We must, above all, acknowledge that pattern design, especially textile design, has its own autonomy of research, historically independent of official painting and its own absolute conceptual originality. Textile design, and more generally environmental design, must today be understood as a real and proper information system. It shapes understanding of the product, comprehension of its use, acceptance of linguistic data and other forms of visual information. The decorative image is the starting point in a system of theoretically infinite images which can be demonstrated by its development in an even manner, on a limited plane, namely the textile surface. This exemplary projection gives the decorative image certain characteristics. Unlike the pictorial surface, the decorative surface contains in every part the sum total of general information, because it contains the sign that is to be repeated over the entire decorated surface. Pattern design is cultural information about the product, since it acts on its cultural identity, that is, on its historical references, above and beyond the formal logic of the product itself. It is information of use, since uh, through the cultural identity of the product it specifies its use to the customer in terms of behavior and of symbol. It is linguistic information because it communicates the symbolism and meaning of a general culture through non-figurative images. In general, pattern design is more properly termed visual information because it determines a visual use of the product as an added value to the explicit function of the object itself. The monographic themes of Decorativo I concern two trends of decorative culture which, in a certain sense, are completely opposed. On the one hand is the amorphous, that is, informal decoration connected to uncontrolled creative and formative processes, and on the other hand the UFOs, that is, surfaces organized and structured to create the impression of a rational system of objects in space. Both these trends could be said to have cultural overtones. The amorphous represents the spontaneous world of natural growth and change vegetable or chemical, printings and patterns of the textile surface uh, inspired by cultural reference of the most general and direct quality. Non-figurative design, widely used this century as a form of direct communication, is in contrast inspired by man-made creative processes. It introduces into the decoration of our surroundings intermediate phases between plane and pattern surfaces, informal but possessing their own kind of strength and potential. The UFOs, with their overtones of method and metaphysics, represent the trends towards the organization of large systems of objects. With this type of decoration, the scientific look gives it a dynamic, authoritative feeling, heightened by the almost comic perspectives and spatial accuracies of the style. The very combination of these two trends and the stimuli and suggestions which we present alongside all the historical data with each theme are aimed at providing a starting point for more in-depth research into textile design at present, both as a technical activity and as a cultural expression. Montefibre wishes to promote a greater improvement in the quality of design, not only in the field of textiles, but more generally in the planning and environmental area. With this aim in mind, Centro Design Montefibre introduces this annual edition of Decorativo, 
a design manual directed to Montefibre's established customers and, more in general, to all those working in the design field – designers, stylists, color consultants, interior decorators – everyone interested in receiving a collection of design ideas and motifs and transforming them in their own personal way. Montefibre was the largest fiber producer in Italy and one of the largest in Europe. It was a subdivision of Montedison, an Italian counterpart to Imperial Chemical Industries. Centro Design Montefibre was the first planning and research center in Europe dealing with primary design, both in interior and clothing design. It produced periodical publications on color and design. It studied the developments of taste and made research on the new images of fibers in textiles. The book uh, will be available for consultation at Spazio for a short while. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.